Hey everybody, it's author and poet Richard M. Niddle Jr. Today I am reading a poem that I had written um, probably last year. I finished it up in the last few days. It's a very special poem. It's very, very hard for me to read. I wouldn't have been able to read it up until recently. Um, if you have known me for my career the last five years in writing, you will understand this poem very well and uh, what it's about. It's called The End of Love, A Muse and a poet's journey. I hope you enjoy it, and uh, hopefully I can make it through. <laughs> so, here we go. The very first time that I ever saw you, I knew right then and that one day that you and I would be together in one way, shape, or form. Then from that night of our very first kiss, the very which one caused a spark to fly, causing our fires to rage out of control, especially down below in our place of heated passion. That is at one time or another burned hotter than any sun ever known. Even as our two pounding hearts melted from the sheer heat that was rising from the sheets, then in a the blink of an eye, nothing at all, gone. Coming to an abrupt end by your hand and your hand alone, causing our souls to disconnect while they became lost and confused in all the chaos that ensued as they were grieving over the loss of a lover and a friend. I know that we are definitely soulmates who have only lost one another in a brutal war between the powers of good and evil as the battle for addiction is ripping apart entire families and we are just another casualty in this damn war. And I no matter how hard that I tried to help you, to see the day, light of day. I broke myself many times somewhere down the way, but I never gave up hope that one day you would open up your beautiful green eyes and see how much I truly did care. And I never did quit searching for her, the one who stole my love. My love. But after all these years, believing the time is finally revealed to me that I have only been dreaming of a life that we have lived in the past because dreams are what we hope for when we close our eyes at night to sleep. But what I have found is that mine are actually only remnants of pieces of leftover memories as I buried all the bad ones to hide all the pain that I feel weighed down deep inside. I have always thought of our love was meant to forever last in the time and eternity, but finally today, after all these years of giving everything I had to give and more to you, yet never getting anything back at all. But all that love that I believe we two have always shared has been actually nothing more than just one of the many lies that you have told me and somehow you, you, how, how, somehow you yourself believe, ripping from me my heart and soul who has given you more than they should, believing that they were sharing all that they had to give, but in reality, they were all alone. For your heart only beats for the blood in your veins, and while your soul was never born at all, you are the one that is guilty and trial you should stand. With the charges brought against you of murder, chaos, and mayhem for the who you who for who stands here before you now and what I have become. You have played all of your evil games to someone who only wanted so bad to believe in you, letting you take him higher than he had ever been before, then pushing him off the ledge as you laughed just as hard as you could. As he fell to the ground, you have shattered my heart into a million plus pieces so much beyond repair that it shall no longer heal. And I place all the blame on you, for you are the one who laughed out loud while you were murdering my soul, as it has never been seen from again. I sincerely hope in this life you find out who you really are, for when you fall, for when you fail this time around and start to fall once again, and I will not be there to save you this time. So I hope you hit the ground hard. And your knock on my door will never be answered, and the phone will continue to ring always and forever, never to be answered by me or anyone I know. You see, we come from two different types of people, the ones who live down here on this earth. They are called givers and takers by name. As I have always given to you everything that I could and more, and you have only taken advantage of someone who only asked you for honesty and nothing more in return. So in closing, 
I have the one last thing that I want to say. When I am done writing this letter, it will be the beginning of a very sad, sad day. You see, poets are so much more than just writing a few words down on a page. It's a combination of all our emotions and feelings that are transfused into all the ink that we spill. And throughout everything that we have ever gone through, you have always been my muse. Unfortunately, they are the ones that inspire us the key that unlocks the door to our gift that we now use. There are some that will inspire love, while others will only stain and hate. But you should feel very special. For not only do you inspire me, for both I have become a master poet in the art of lies, dis lies dishonesty, and my personal favorites, abuse, thievery, and deceit. However, in order to end this addiction that I have had to you for all these years, for all the drama that you bring to with myself, believing that you were the you were more than who you really are, a selfish, self-centered addict who cares nothing about only yourself, and you can never love anyone or anything else. This is the last thing that I must do as it strikes fear deep inside of me. For when a poet kills his muse, he will never write again. So, muse, you are unlike any other. As the strength you have, as the strength you have with both good and bad to inspire in all that I have ever wrote. You have taken me higher than heaven and even lower than the depths of hell. This journey, this journey I will always remember for it's one that I shall never ever regret. You have helped me and many others heal and shown me what love really is and why we all must end the hate and violence and finally give peace a chance. That the greatest gift you gave me is the reason this now must all come to an end. The link that you share with her in real life is with the one who I will always love no matter all of the pain that she has caused to me when she cannot find love for herself. But I know now in your lives whom I have been searching for, she is the one who had danced with my soul. And these tears that are now falling are mixed with much sadness and joy for I smile knowing that what I truly believed in was real. And the sadness is for what I now must do. I must banish you forever in my mind, heart, and soul, never again to inspire me. Your ink can no longer be allowed to flow. I must now give you, I must now give up my poet's pen, the hardest thing I will ever do. For this time, the door that I have asked you to leave through will never be allowed to open again. In the past, I've always believed you, but I know now that they, that you, and always, that, I'm sorry, that they are and always and will be nothing more than lies. For you have not only destroyed your relationship, but myself, my muse, a gift from God to the world and proven beyond a doubt that love does not always win. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'll be back again later, and uh, hope you guys uh, have a good evening. Good night. I bid you adieu.